So we're here basically to support the voice of the people, which was not being heard here at the RNC nor at the DNC. This is a political system that uh, represents the, um, you know, the oligarchs and the war machine. So the Green Party, you know, it faces a, a tough time with ballot access, right? And the major party system always seems to synchronize in terms of making ballot access difficult, making rank choice voting difficult, etc. Can you talk about some of the challenges that those are faced? Some of the what? Some of the challenges. Oh, yeah. Faced. So the DNC announced way back in March that they were hiring an army of lawyers to throw their competitors off the ballot. This is the Democratic Party that claims to be defending democracy. You know, they're destroying democracy, supposedly, in order to defend it. We haven't seen them defend it yet. Um, they've also advertised for infiltrators and spies uh, to mess up our, our ballot drives and our organizations. You know, we are specifically in court now in several states uh, fighting them. Their intention is to drain our resources and to stop us from making further progress. We're currently on the ballot for a majority of voters and a majority of the uh, Electoral College. We are truly contesting for power and they are doing their best uh, to try to disrupt that. And then um, most recently, they're now tying up our the public funding that we qual qualified for, $270,000, that we very much need uh, to keep going. And, you know, so we're encouraging people to own this fight, you know, to uh, crowdfund this fight, because we are the one anti-genocide, anti-war, pro-worker, climate emergency uh, choice that is already on the ballot for a majority of voters. So we're here to really fight this fight. and. Without us on the ballot, we don't really have a, um, you know, a, a dog in this fight. Do you think that the other independent candidates are going to have things like debates? Like, could you end up like doing a debate with libertarians or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, we did one just uh, Monday night, in okay. fact. So we've done several. Yeah, it's on the it's on the web at freeandequal.org. Um, RFK, unfortunately, uh, does not want to debate. You know, uh, he's been. Uh, very anxious to be included in the debates of others, but he will not participate in an alternative debate. And uh, Cornell West has likewise been missing in action in all in all the debates so far. We've we've held uh, two with the Libertarians and uh, with PSL. So some of us are willing to actually stand up and defend our positions, and some are are apparently not capable of doing that. Okay. So as we go into November, what are where would you say the other uh, where can people look to find out about what's happening in the world of outside of the two main parties? Where where can people learn more about what's happening in that political space? Yeah, so I really encourage people to go to our website at jillstein2024.com because we are the only campaign that will be on the ballot in a majority uh, for a majority of voters. So this is, our, uh, you know, do we want a symbolic campaign or do we actually want to take power right now uh, in the midst of, you know, this outer meltdown of our society, our economy, our foreign policy, you know, the American people are not happy. We need a voice uh, in this fight. And if you have three pro-genocide campaigns, pro-war and pro-genocide campaigns um, on the ballot and only one anti-war, anti-genocide campaign, so it's a four-way race and you got three candidates splitting the pro-war vote and only one campaign unifying the anti-war, pro-worker, climate emergency vote. You can divide the yeah. vote in such a way that uh, it only requires 26%. 26% could potentially win this race. So, so are you rule it out. And I wouldn't allow the uh, powers that be to talk you into uh, hopelessness. Okay, and forgive me for not being up on this, but are you the Green Party nominee currently? I'm the presumptive nominee. So I have won uh, basically 95% of the delegates to our convention. Okay. Well, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate your time, Jill. Thank oh, you. Nice. Yeah.